In this video, I am going to explain how to write Verilog code for full subtractor using data flow level of abstraction. So I pre-assume that you know how the half subtractor would be and the functionalities of it. If not, you please watch the previous video that is full subtractor using structural level of abstraction in which I explained in detail about a technique to write a test bench and also the functionality of full subtractor with detailed structure of it okay you please watch that video before watching this now i assume that you watch that and continue to explain data flow level of abstraction so if you see here clearly uh, nearly five to six lines of code is reduced to simple two statements so that is uh, that is why it's important to learn all levels of abstraction to write very low code for any circuit you design or you want to design now the inputs and outputs won't change that is input a comma b comma b in borrow in and output difference comma borrow out okay instead of writing additional two state statements you can directly declare input and output variables here itself in the braces of module now as in data flow level of abstraction we will use a keyword assign so the difference equal to a x or b x or borrow in so simply you can write this and this result would be assigned to difference and similarly borrow out if you look into this figure here this is a bar b and a x or b inversion of that ended with borrow in those two are given to an or get so simply that statement is written here a bar b inversion of a x or b ended with borrow in and those two are given to an or get so simply this statement will give you a borrow out so that's it with these two simple lines of code you can uh, synthesize the circuit you can get the circuit of full subtractor in data flow level of abstraction so let us check the syntax once again and see similarly uh, i have written the test bench also so uh, for synthesizing the circuit you have to write the test bench and the test bench won't change for any level of abstraction it can be a structural level or data flow level or behavior level it it doesn't matter but the test bench intention is to check with all the possible test cases uh, the, the circuit that you designed which is called as unit under test or design under test now i, I explained the trick to write this test bench in the previous uh, video if not slightly i will tell you again as number of input combinations increases it's difficult to write those values like 0 0 0 0 0 1 1 0 0 1 1 0 like that all possible combinations up to triple one instead if you observe here b is alternately changing that i mean b borrow in is alternately changing and b is changing for every two units and a is changing for every four okay now with that i i can implement here after every four units my a should be changing that is if it is 0 it should become 1 if it is 1 it should become 0 and for every two time steps my b should alternately change 0 to 1 1 to 0 like that and after every one time step my borrow in should change so with this you can uh, write the test bench like this or it's up to you as i'm not writing dollar monitor all the statements i cannot see the output values in the console window that's it but the waveforms will not change okay now it's syntactically correct let me check the simulated uh, waveforms okay you can see here uh, you can verify randomly for any combination uh, let me check uh, for some random combinations that is if you see here a is 0 borrow is 1 and borrow in uh, sorry a is 0 b is 1 and my borrow in is 0 so 0 1 0 i should get 1 1 so let me check the uh, truth table here 0 1 0 so it is 1 1 okay it is 1 1 so in that way you can check for any other combinations it won't change so this is how you can uh, design a full subtractor using data flow level of abstraction so also let us uh, check the rtl schematic and technology schematic how it would be so let me synthesize uh, this circuit let me um, check how the rtl schematic of this would be so this uh, so if you look here uh, this is similar to that we got in structural level of abstraction so and also here you can see uh, let me show you this red portion is is kind of looking like half subtractor right so this is the key idea to write uh, this very low code for full subtractor using half subtractors by the concept of instantiation you can see here two of half subtractors are clearly visible and uh, uh, borrow is uh, you are getting borrowed uh, final or gate is present here so in this way you can 
check the rtl schematic also but the important thing is to check the technology schematic uh, as this is targeting to the fpga family it would be lookup tables you can see here and io buffers are for uh, used in the purpose of restoring the input data that is obtaining and also to get restored output uh, for difference and borrowed so uh, this is how the rtl schematic and technology schematic of a full subtractor using data flow level of abstraction thank you for watching and see you in the next one